Hi everyone and welcome back to another tutorial employee payroll management system. This is part 30 and in this tutorial we're gonna just wrap up everything that we did and you can find the full project um, down in the link in the description box below. You can download that. You're gonna have the full project and you can use it, you can change it, you can do whatever you want with it. Um, so basically we we did um, an allowance page um, to add allowance to the employee and um, you can see it here like that and um, this is the allowance um, we had a main menu here that we're going to add buttons in a bit and you can see the allowance you can see you can search the employee by ID you can save you can calculate whatever you know what I mean so um, we have an audit trail as well we learn how to do that um, to monitor the login and the logout of each employee <clears throat> and also we have the update salary uh, that you can search for employee id and you can update the salary by a percentage or an amount as you like and you can update that also we have this page here we can add an employee with a with an image we can update delete add record clear and attach um also we learned about the mail uh, sorry about the radio buttons here how to switch between them and we have the deduction page that we can deduct from the employee by a percentage or an amount um, we can calculate the deduction here and we can save obviously you can clear just whatever and we have the login page here that we can log in it's very neat um, I think it's very simple as well and finally we have the search employee salary and you can generate the slip here of the employee so now we're gonna just add like four we are gonna add six buttons here and uh, so we just when we run the main page uh, we can just click on the button and it will take us to the um, pages that we need so we'll need the employee manager which is basically gonna have uh, the add employee um, the search gonna have the add employee as well because it's just gonna search for it the allowance obviously is going to have the allowance, the update salary going to have the search and salary, uh, sorry, update salary page. And the deduction is going to have the deduction page and the payment it's going to have the uh, search and salary which you can generate the salary slip. So let's, um, let's have the buttons here. I'm going to have like um, six buttons just like that. Um, that's one. Um, see so like that. That's two, and we have a third one here, just like that, like that, and this one here, like that. Right. Oops. It's gonna be long here, so I'm just gonna put it here like that. Right. Just like that. I'm gonna have these two here down, but like that and this one here just like that and we'll have this one here like that so uh, the first one uh, i'm just gonna put this these here like that this one here uh, it's gonna change the size so just put them here like that uh, first one's gonna be employee manager uh, the second one, it's going to be the search. And here it's going to be the allowance. Here it's going to be, oops, sorry, I'm at F2, yeah. And here's going to be the update salary. And um, this one's going to be um, the deduction. Finally, it's going to be the payment, right? And also here, we're going to add the uh, menu item or menu, basically. Um, I think it's the menu here. No, we'll add the menu menu item. Yeah, there you go. This one. And we're going to say um, audit trail, 
and when you click on it it's you're gonna open up the audit here audit page this one right so you save that employee we can add the add employee here I mean you don't really need it so just it's just not gonna add them I'm just gonna leave it like that so um, double click on your employee manager here uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna say add employee x equals a new add employee like that and you're gonna say x dot set visible uh, true like that and you're gonna save you're gonna go back and double click on search and you're gonna say I, I, you're gonna copy it again here and paste it and the search and you're gonna save you're gonna go back you can double click on allowance and you're gonna paste it again and you're gonna change this to allowance and here to allowance like that and you're gonna go to design again you can update salary and you're gonna paste it again and you're gonna say update salary update salary forgot the a here right save that go back deduction and you're gonna paste it again and you're gonna say deduction again deduction um i think of yeah i have it on yeah i have it deductions like that so you're gonna say deductions right save that you're gonna go back to the payment here and you're gonna say you're gonna paste it again and you're gonna say um search emp salary like that you're gonna copy it and you're gonna paste it here save right uh first uh we forgot something here we forgot the audit trail so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go back here and you're gonna say oh shit you're gonna copy this here <laughs> And you're gonna say audit, audit, and you're gonna save. Go back to the main menu here. You're gonna go in here like that. Right click properties, dispose, close, save. The audit. Right click here properties, uh, dispose, close. And you're gonna go here. Properties, expose, close. Right click property here, dispose, save that. Back again here, deductions. Uh, dispose. Yeah, there you go. Login. Ah, oh, we don't need the login. <laughs> right click. Yeah, there you go. Right close all that and now you're gonna run it again and let's see what happens so right click here run project uh, let's see admin here login success okay okay search okay allowance okay up the salary just here okay deduction payment the reason the update salary went there is because we did not add the code in it to just have it in the middle here. That doesn't matter because you have all the codes and you can do it yourself. So I don't need to do it for you. You can here click on here and you go to the trail and you can see the audit trail here. So uh, thank you for watching this tutorial. It's been fun and I apologize if I am very late on the source code but i had to exp but i have to explain everything in detail before i provide you with the code so thanks again and hope you enjoy uh, good luck and college thank you